What can we learn from this Code Wars kata? Let's find out. The kata I've chosen is called Multiply. This code does not execute properly. Try to figure out why. We have a function def multiply of a comma b, and in the body of the function we have a times b. Well, that looks good enough. We're calculating a times b. Let's run a test. It failed. None should equal two. Now this could seem quite confusing until you realize that Python needs a return keyword to give anything back from a function. What's happening now is analogous to calculate a times b, throw away the result, and then return none. Let's show that this has the same result. It failed. None should equal two. Well, what if we return the result of a times b? Now we test and it passes. Congratulations, let's attempt. Good job, you may take time to refactor or comment your solution, submit when ready. I think we're ready. And just out of curiosity, let's see if anyone has made a cheeky solution to this. Okay, we've got some commented code. We've got some boilerplate to check that things are the correct types. We've got some ask the art, that's cute. We've got some more checking that the values are okay. We've got a variable stuck in the middle. So there are some different, some different ways to do this, but let's leave it at that. Actually, let's train again just to review. It failed. In the default case, the code returns nothing. If we add a return statement, then the tests are all green. So that's the solution. Define, multiply, A and B, return A times B. There you have it. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you'd like some more Code Wars Kata solutions like this, or if there's a particular one that you're stuck on. Thanks again.